and happy Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Wednesday, July 28th, 2021, and welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I'm your host, my name is Kyle, and we are playing today for a better tomorrow. Ah, we're back. Nearly 70 episodes later, nearly 95 hours later, Horizon Zero Dawn, the adventures of Alloy, have been put to rest behind us. What a finale it was, folks. Our time spent with that game was long, but it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. And we were able to raise $89 for the water project. Super, super cool what we were able to do. I have to double check the the records, but that may be a new record. And depending on what titles come up in the future, that may be a tough one to top. Lady Dragana, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon so far. We're here for our slightly late lunch, lunch money stream, streaming for about 60 minutes as we dive into a new game, kicking off a new adventure, a little palate cleanser here with Titanfall 2. All right, so a bit of housekeeping stuff because this is episode one of our time with Titanfall 2. So a little bit of um, information about what we do here at the channel as well as um, who we are going to be supporting with the next playthrough. So a little background, Titanfall 2 is a game from Respawn Entertainment, um, a company that kind of splintered off from the companies that had worked on the Modern Warfare series. And it's regarded as kind of a cult fan favorite when it comes to first-person shooters. It's a game that I have played before. I've completed it, looking back through the records, I've completed it on normal difficulty, I don't know, a couple of years ago. So I haven't played on anything harder than that. Um, it does have normal, it has hard, and then it has master difficulty. And we're going to skip hard. We're jumping straight up to master mode. Um, the campaign is a brief one. If you play it on normal and you don't, get carried away with the collectibles and things like that. You can beat the campaign in about four hours. It's a pretty brief game. Um, of course, with my style of playing, it'll take a little bit longer and throw on top of the fact that we're going into master mode. We probably have ourselves a game here for at least a week, maybe two, just long enough to kind of mix up things before we dive into whatever our next title is going to be. Oh, I'm glad things worked out, Dragana. Hopefully you'll be able to join us for the 60 minutes of awesome we've got coming up here. So as you can see in the title, of course, we're playing Master Mode, Titanfall 2. I have not played this game on anything above normal, so we'll be going into it completely um, blank, so to speak. Um, and it's been a couple years since I have played this, so I remember bits and pieces of the campaign, but I don't remember everything. So um, I don't think I have too much of an advantage as we jump in and replay this game again. We will start with the tutorial level just to get me reacquainted with the controls. And we'll go from there. Um, folks, if you are joining us for the very first time, though, let me welcome you to our little corner of the internet, where in a nutshell, we play video games and we raise money for charity. Now we're moving on to a new game here, and when we play these games, such as Titanfall 2, we're going to put it on the hardest available difficulty to make things as challenging on ourselves as possible. In remembrance, the classic arcade games of the 80s and 90s, every time we die, fail, or retry, we will be donating 25 cents, an additional quarter, to a charity. And the charity for this game, and I have all my little cheat sheet notes pulled up here, the charity for this game, folks, is Cool Earth. Now, normally, there is a button below the stream. You can click on that. It'll take you to their website. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that up and running in time for today's stream, but I will have it up for tomorrow. If you would like to check out Cool Earth, um, you can go to their website, www.coolearth.org. Now, Cool Earth is a 501c3 charitable organization that works with rainforest communities to halt deforestation and its impact on climate change. Now, if you take that a little bit further, kind of their particular view is the best way to have effective conservation is when the local people who are uniquely suited to managing and protecting their rainforests are put first. Um, this is a charity that comes up on a lot of lists as far as, for, as far as dollar donated per 
results that they're able to execute as a very, very efficient charity. Um, I know David Attenborough, the, uh, I don't know if he would be considered a scientist or a biologist, but I don't, I don't think he needs a title. Sir David Attenborough is probably enough. Um, he is an advocate for this particular charity. Um, the Cool Earth Organization, they help rainforest communities protect nearly 100,000 hectares of rainforest spread across three continents. Um, they're looking at continents such as Peru, or continents, countries like Peru, Cameroon, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Mozambique, Cambodia, and Papua New Guinea. So it's a really cool organization, um, a bit of an influence from the last game. Going off of Horizon Zero Dawn, the whole reason the world kind of fell apart was, well, I mean, besides killer robots, was because of disastrous climate change. So I thought that was um, a kind of a good informer for our new charity, Cool Earth. Ooh, all right, that's a lot of uh, exposition, narration. I think that about covers everything, right? We wrapped up our time with Horizon Zero Dawn, our last game. We summed up $89, all going to the Water Project. We're starting our new game, a bit of backstory with Titanfall 2, and our new benefactor, our new organization that we will be donating quarters to is Cool Earth. So without any further ado, folks, we got everything loaded up here. Um, let's dive into our adventures here. I'm going to get the headset equipped. I'm going to take a quick peek at the options. I went through them earlier. I don't believe, unfortunately, with this game that there is an option to disable the crosshairs. I do have colorblind mode turned on for what it's worth. Um, so yeah, as far as I can tell, the HUD options, we have little tips and tutorials and stuff, depth of field. Subtitles are on, but we don't have anything to turn off crosshairs. So that is one thing that we are going to have to kind of, I guess, deal with. Games on inverted. Sensitivity is turned up. Vibration is on. If we start a new campaign, it'll completely eliminate my previous progress. So you can see we have nine levels to work our way through. We're going to start at the top. Level one, the pilot's gone. We'll replay the entire mission. I don't. I think this is just a tutorial mission. I believe this is the actual first mission where we get to pick the difficulty we want, which of course we'll be playing our way through Master Mode for Titanfall experts only. Death comes swiftly and without mercy. So let's get ourselves through the uh, pilot training here. an FYI, no background is necessarily needed from the first Titanfall, so don't sweat it, you're not worried about Of much. all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile, graceful, yet devastating, perceptive, resourceful, and relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. Jeez. But what truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. Titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force or an equal. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, 
forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. All right. How epic was that? Ooh, almost, almost goosebumps. That was incredibly exciting. All right, Cooper's logbook. The 9th Militia Fleet is en route to attack an IMC-controlled planet called Typhon. Zero civilian presence. I only know that it houses an IMC military research facility. Aboard the James McAllen, my pilot training continues with Captain Lastimosa, a master-level pilot. I'm not sure why he chose to be my mentor, but this is an opportunity I'd be crazy to pass up. Here we go, Rifleman Cooper. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the Simpod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. Does that feel right to you, Cooper? Yes, the controls are just fine. All right. We're good to go. Let's see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. To learn new skills, we need to be in the right state of mind. Ah, much better. Technically, I'm not. I know to be Kung Fu. Anyone, <laughs> but in you, I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? So not put my gun there in. There you go. Up and over. Let's pick up the pace. Enabling jump kit assist. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed ability. Once your jump kit calibrates to your movement style, enhanced mobility becomes second nature. Beautiful, isn't it? Inspired by my home planet of Harmony. This is where I grew up. This is what we're fighting for, Cooper. A world that's not metal and smoke. The freedom to live in peace and prosperity. Let's make sure your jump kit is primed. Basic wall run here. Give it a try. Good. Now you're moving. Under here, stay low. Simple double jump. Follow the ghost. He slides like Alloy does. We've retaken over a quarter of frontier space since the Battle of Demeter. Militia's better organized now. More people join every day to fight the IMC. People like you. We used to just run and hide from them. But now, we chase them. If the context wasn't evident, the Battle of Demeter was what happens in the first game. Which, I'm assuming, I've never actually played the first Titanfall. In combat, things never go as you expect. You must be ready to use any weapon you can find on I the field. I need guns. Lots These are just of a guns. few of the weapons I've come across out there. Time to hit the range. Take. That was cool. Load your weapon. To get more precision, aim down the sights of your weapon. Gotta take them all out before you get fire. Good. 
practice more if you want. Then head to the gauntlet. One more time. Oh man, it's twitchy. Try one more time. Oh man. Let's hope I get better at these snap turning controls. Alright, got a new gauntlet for you to run today. Part time is two minutes. Gotta do better than that to continue. Follow the ghost or find your own path. Let's do this. Violets have to strike a balance in combat. Even paramount, but you must also hit your targets. The gauntlet is where we practice those skills until they're second nature. Keep going. Whoop! Wrong thing. Nope, those are, I didn't mean to throw grenades! Ouch, that hurt. Man, this just plays so fast. Don't mind me, I'm just missing everybody. Nice run. See the results board on the wall? Difficulty set, set to time. regular Everyone based on gauntlet performance. So be sure to run the Ouch. Times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Difficulty now set to regular up, based on performance. You can race against other pilot ghosts. Word of warning though, the pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet as much as you want. When you're done, I've got something special to show you. Basically, the best time is, like, I gotta cut over half of my time to even be close. Let's take it one more time here, folks. See if we can't try to earn a better rating. This is terrible. Oh, and I died. I might get a new best time. You were flying that time. I shaved a couple seconds on that one. All right, last time. Third time's a charm. It like even shows your speed. That was terrible. Look how far ahead my shadow is. No! That's your fastest run yet. I did set a record though. Under one minute. I'm happy with that. All I think that's what we're going to gonna call it today. I'm ready to see what's next. Good. You're going to like this. It's time you learn the other half of being a pilot. The Titan. 
Let's go call one in. Aren't pilots the only ones allowed to do that? It's only a simulation, Rifleman. It's not the real thing. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. That's my partner, BT. He's a Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. The first Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, Rifleman. Call on your first Titan. Look up, in the sky. There he is. Oh. All right, Rifleman. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Aw, oh, man. Down all known essential systems. Cooper, ready up. Easy, Cole. He just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Yes, sir. To battle stations. It's up. They're killing us. I'm trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last Mosa. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're going to see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. Not technically die. It just down there, Rifleman. went out of bounds. Good luck. We had to restart. We had to reset. Get your ass out of the Simpod, Cooper. Meet at the dropship. All right. They recommend regular, based on my playstyle and how well I did. We're going to master. Probably going to regret this. It wasn't technically a death, so it's not counting, right? That's just I went out of bounds on the, the tutorial. Operation Broadsword, the 9th Militia Fleet. Destination, Planet Typhon. Mission, Infantry Support for SRS Classified Operation. We are in IMC Occupied Frontier Space. Ah, folks, it is a fantastic mid-week. Middle of the week. It is a fantastic middle, fantastic middle of the week. Folks, I hope you're having a fantastic day out there so far. Gonna be diving into mission numero uno. Jader, I happy Wednesday, good sir. We are just getting it kicked off. Hope you're having a good evening, man. Yeah, as a palate cleanser game, we're just going going straight to the sequel. I never actually played the first one. Militia Rifleman Class 3 Jack Cooper. Stabilize 250 milligrams of sensor fentanyl administered. Caution. Temporary side effects. Nausea. Dizziness. Exactly what I want going into battle. Flatline, full auto with a punch. They're my dudes. Get up a little bit. Moving to cover. So sensitive. Oof. 
That's not good. They were behind me somehow. <laughs> Spicy to the chef. How's it going? Um, not necessarily new. New to master mode. I played this a couple years ago for the very first time. Um, but played through it on normal just to get the campaign. But in the spirit of the channel, today we're we're just starting it out, going through it on master mode. So we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. It should be fun. So I've at least played the campaign once. Thanks for joining us today, Spicy the Chef. I hope you're having a great Wednesday, by the way. Because you AI can't cover my flank. Oh, there's a grenade! At least they're not dinosaur robots. Flanking maneuver. Alright, infantry, I need you to... What? How is it behind me already? That was close. Am I the only infantry of man that's capable of doing anything? Maybe you shouldn't stand out in the middle of nowhere, dude. Jeez. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> two quarters in. This is going to be a hot mess of a game. This will be fun. Kill the robots. I need the rest of my infantry to move up. The problem is I'm moving too fast for them. They're not advancing with me. And that's what's making it tricky. Shoot, you can, okay, you can take like two... Oh my gosh, are you serious? Why aren't you guys killing him? He's right next to me. Okay, patience, 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 patience. It's a virtue. What? <laughs> that robot just straight up straight armed me. Done. Okay. Okay, AI buddies, I need you to be a little bit more effective than you've been. Kill the robots. Slowly advance. Make sure the AI are accompanying me. Ooh. Oh, it's a grenade. Guys, I need you to help. See, that one guy has moved up. Oh, and he died. No, no, go forward. Push forward. You don't retreat. That's not how this works. I'm going around this way. Cover my back. I need you to cover the middle of the arena, folks. Not that hard. Come on. Move up, guys. Move up. Okay. This is good. This is good. The front line's advancing. Oh, look at us. We're moving. This is Captain Lastimosa. I got a fix on your location. On my way. We lost one guy. That robot ambushed him. Put him down. Put him down. Captain Lastimosa. That's a good. He's got, he's got the, the Titan. Whoa. 
Oh, hostile Titan, that's not good. Ooh. Nice kill, dude. Cooper, you're in bad shape. Hold on. This might knock you out, but you should be okay when you wake up. Lastimosa, hostile Titans inbound. Apex Predators. Copy that, BT. Mercenary. Stay down, Cooper. BT, let's go! I love the fact that they got the voice of Optimus Prime to voice BT in the robot. He did not last very long. alone you sick bastard we've got a job to do eh? we make corpses we don't clean them up let's go dun 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 Good way to wake up. I look at that body floating away on the river. That was a cool little touch. Dude, I'm glad you didn't shoot me, man. BT-7274, Planet Typhon. Crash site of the MCS James. Transfer authorization to new pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango. 7274. Cooper, take my Titan. Use my helmet in my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. And so it begins. Cloaking. Awesome. Precision semi automatic pistol. A power source for this thing. Power low. Insufficient power. Power low. Insufficient power. Man, how cool would it be to have Optimus Prime's voice? Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, trying to eat me? Transferred for recasing. Take 
Little, I'm, I don't, I'm really low on ammo, actually. Double jump is offline. Good to know. Whoa! Did not affect me to be able to jump across that chasm. Relocating to the IMC beacon at map grid 772981. Anyone copy? This is Sergeant Hazel from the second militia fusiliers. We reached the cold. We're gonna make our way over here to the Flying creatures. Only another 87 meters. Not that far to go. Militia intruders, this is General Martyr of the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation. You're in violation of sovereign law. I'm offering you a brief amnesty. Surrender yourself to an IMC officer or force. If you refuse, you will be eliminated. Well, that attack went really poorly. Now I'm kind of trapped behind enemy lines. Sixty meters, we're getting close. You see, past this canyon. Uh oh. We work for whoever the IMC say we. What are you trying to get? Metal. I don't care who's giving the orders. Blisk and Emerge to General Marder. Our scrubs get paid to take All that matters is that thing in the mountains goes online as shit. You think it's true? The text is saying about it. Do I look like a bloody animal to you? But if it is, then the militia are gonna have a very bad day. Ooh. You know what I mean? Forty meters, it's not that far. Oh boy. Resist this. It'd be nice if they would have left their guns. Full auto. High capacity. Oh, shoot. I think they saw me. That is a very brief invisibility. Ouch! Oh, yep, they saw me. Dang. Oh, I gave away my element of surprise. Pieces, Brosif. Ouch, jeez. Okay, there's across the ravine, and there's in front of me. Hundred and eighteen meters? I was just like sixty meters away from it. What happened? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the McAllen. Dang. Okay. Okay. Let me get this gun. Let's be a little bit more careful when I walk out here.
Woo! Okay. Two down. Three. Four. Five. Six. What now, fools? What now? That might be it for the moment. There's definitely got to be ammo down here. I gotta watch across the river. Make sure they're not coming around to the side of me. Hemlock. Burst fire assault rifle. Oh, great. Grenade. Come on. Oh, I shot him and he's just gonna... Whatever. That's what we're talking about. It's a headshot! Come on, that's a headshot. Don't throw a grenade back here. Hear him. Be down in the ravine. Probably. Probably down. What's our pilot no visual? Ooh, yep. Oh, how are you gonna contain me? You guys are like a mile away. He's up high though. Need to eliminate the ones up high, because they're going to be issues for me. Oh, come on, really? That's what I thought. There's a voice to my left. There's somebody over to the left side. Ah! Be a lot better if I would quit missing. He's behind those rocks somewhere. Sounds like he's the last one, too. He said his whole squad is down. Done. Oh, there's still more. Ooh, it's a weapons cache. DMR. Let's take that bad boy. This will be useful. It still means the same as what they mean in the few in the peasant tense. DMR will be a designated marksman rifle. Got a visual. It's a pilot. What? Oh, this thing shoots fast. You can just pump the rounds out. And it has a zoom. Double jump online. And that's what I like to hear. More ammo crates. Oh, great. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on! Got drones. Oh, 
Oh, great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're fighting. Fighting monsters. Let them fight the monsters. Really, dude? Come on! You're gonna pursue me and let all your buddies die. Alright, are the drones dead? It seemed like the battery was up there, though. Go help your buddies, man. You got rope aliens attacking you. Aliens not spawned yet. Does not sound like they spawned. Oh my goodness, he's going to kill me. All right. Ah! Man, that thing. That thing was pretty terrifying. Just leaping out of the shadows at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Man, they're just throwing it all at you, aren't they? Oh my goodness, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to isolate them while I can. I can't let them get through. Which is exactly what they're doing. They're getting through. They basically overrun the area. I do it? I think so. I right, got more DMR ammo. Oh, great. Are you kidding me? Okay, just a robot. Thought it was an alien. Hey, Dragana, that alien was scary. It jumped up out of the shadows at me like that. This battery keeps getting further and further away. I'm like all the way to the ship now. Any militia personnel, I must remind you that you are on the planet Titan. This is an IMC controlled planet. Uh-huh. You were saying? Oh, great. And I fell to my death. Woo! Oh, what is this? Whoa! Let's not get shot by that.
We are in the spaceship right now. Let's get the fully automatic one. This might be a little bit better for what we're doing. Alright, where are we going? This is where I came from. All hands. The James Callus has been sent to take down IMC research facility on the side of Titan. Oh man! For all Thirteen meters! It's right there! You wanted to make a difference. Got one. It's like a heavy battery. It's not even full power. Not even full power. Oh. Alright, gotta make it back to the Titan. Uh huh. That's what's up, alien. Planet is hostile to life. Uh huh. Where are we going? I assume we're going across this path right here. Nope. You were much higher than I was. Okay, it was the right idea. I just need to do a better job of it. Vanguard class Titan. Uh oh. These things are rare. We should sell it. No bloody way. Those weren't Blisk's orders. Oh great. That doesn't scare me. What do those mercenaries do? Sure, you say that now. Just wait till they got a gun to your head. Cook the grenade. Toasted guys, you had no idea what hit you. Insufficient power. All right, let's do this battery thing. Power at two thirds. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system online. Adjusting focus. Are you all right, pilot? I think so. Wait, did you just call me pilot? Yes. The late Captain Lastimosa gave you the provisional rank of acting pilot. Congratulations on your promotion. You may call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. Of course. I will remain here. Oh, back in the spaceship again? Until I am mobile, I will assist you through your helmet radio when possible. Alright, that's a good... That's a good checkpoint. We're at about... Two o'clock here, folks. We got a battery. We need one more battery to go. I think that's going to be the start of our adventures today. We have one more battery. It's up here in the front half of the James McAllen. Man, a brief, not even an hour with this game. And we're eight quarters in. Eight quarters in. Whew. Yeah, there should be a checkpoint right there. That was cool. 
Oh. Well, that's certainly a start, folks. Um, master difficulty, not impossible, but certainly you've got to keep your wits about you. You take a couple shots and you're down. So I, I like that about it. It makes it a little bit more gritty, a little bit more realistic. You have to approach it um, either with just balls to the wall speed or with some level of technical awareness. So this should make the campaign really, really interesting. Um, we look to be on the first mission, probably about halfway through, I imagine we have one more battery to secure. So that, of course, will pick up with our adventures, our lunchtime stream tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eight quarters in, starting things off right with $2 already, all going to the Cool Earth organization. They are a 501c3 charity focused on keeping the rainforests alive. That was fun. This will be a nice change of pace. Um, gotta get my Twitch reflexes kind of honed again. The time playing Horizon Zero Dawn was definitely more of a slower paced game, even the combat. So this would be a nice nice change in things. Looking forward to continuing it. Um, tomorrow, we have one more stream coming up today. It'll be later this evening. Look for our virtual reality stream. We do this once a week. This is only the second week we've started doing that. We are going to be continuing our time purely for fun. No quarters, no no crazy stuff going on, purely for fun. Um, we're going to be spending our time with, uh, what's it called? Astrobot. Yeah, VR. Astrobot Rescue Mission. We do have a Word of the Week Wednesday. Um, I did just remember it. I have it sitting here right here in front of me. But that's a lot of new stuff today. So we will we'll do the Word of the Week tonight during the VR stream. And for those of you that maybe aren't able to attend this evening, we'll repeat that word again. Um, tomorrow for Thursday, but we do have a word of the week coming up this week. Um, we'll just save it for this evening Folks, thank you so much for coming out spending some of your Wednesday afternoon here with me Quarters Without Borders. We play video games, raise money for charity, and try to make the world a little bit of a better place Even if it's just 25 cents at a time Spicy the Chef, Lady Dragana, and right here at the end Double P4874. Thank you so much for taking the time to come out um, and, and just hang out here with me. We're playing Titanfall 2 as we're hopefully, you know, doing some good. I did just look down at the analytics too. Uh, Dexy PHP. I don't believe I saw your name there in the chat, um, but I appreciate the follow for both of you. Um, it means a lot to the channel. We're still a new channel. We're still a small channel, so every little bit counts. Um, Jaderite as well. Make sure you take the crusade with you onto that third shift to work. Best of luck out there, my friend. And folks, I hope to catch, I'll catch some of you this evening as we go into our virtual reality stream. And the rest of you, I hope to see on the flip side, Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Oh, and just as we're kind of signing off here, I finished my way through that last book. We are starting, we are starting Fallen Angels, book number 11. Well, I say starting, but I'm halfway through it. See ya, 4874. Have a great afternoon. Folks, enjoy the rest of your wonderful Wednesday. Make the most of it out there. Stay safe, and as always, happy gaming.